Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we'll be looking at two Ultra Magnuses here. Well, this one being the Kingdom version, this being the Studio Series 86 Commander version. So, and also I wanted to apologize for the late video. They, well, my powers recently, well, been knocked out, as you saw in the most recent community post. And I couldn't get a video out on Saturday, so I'm trying to get this out as early as I can. Maybe for today, maybe Sunday today, but if not, then you'll be seeing this on Monday. So, and I'm sorry, but due to situations out of my control, I couldn't post a video. So, here we are. So, the reason why I'm doing these two together is because A, they're both Ultra Magnuses. And C, this is what... Honestly, giving a character the size class that, honestly, they deserve to be, the, like, as you can see here, there are very major differences between these two, where this one is a heavy, re well, I say heavy retool, but it is essentially the siege mold, but remolded to give it some earth design aspects, while this is all built from the ground up, meant to be the 86 character. But then again, both of these do that character in different ways. With this being an all-in-one transformation, this being kind of like the original toy, where it's a white Optimus Prime with armor. And while this is just all one cab, cab and trailer connection, kind of like the Masterpiece figures. So yeah. Then also, I wanted to get these two done together since, A, I have both of them, and I do plan on getting rid of this guy because he is personally obsolete compared to this guy, in my opinion. But I wanted to get these two together, and also for whatever I do, the big 86 Autobots video, I don't want to have to review two commanders in the same video along with a leader class, a Voyager, and like three deluxes. Because that would just be a lot. So, I'm just getting these two done together out of the way now. So, that way I don't have to worry about that. And so, yeah. Let's start off with the older Kingdom version first. And while this guy ain't bad, he certainly could have used a lot more work. Like, as you can see here... This does not look at all like how the G1 trailer looks. Like, it's... There's some hollow space in there, but, like... You can't fit anything back there. You can certainly fit cars on top, but... That's really it. So, yeah. And also, like, his hands are just out, but on the original version... I think the cab would be sitting a bit further back in, or at the very least, something would come further out. I don't remember how the Siege version did it, but there are fixes and ways of covering the hands and taking the arm sleeves back here and then just, like, covering them, but I'm showing you how it is intended to look, essentially, and yeah, it's, uh, it's an alt mode. It's just, yeesh. Yeah, but yeah, let's get some comparisons done. So here is Ultra Magnus, the Kingdom version, next to 86 Hot Rod, 86 RC, 86 Blur, 86 Cup, and also Kingdom Commander, Rodimus Prime. So as you can see, like, Honestly, it's not a bad size to go with these guys, but like if you have them displayed in robot mode, I feel like he works, but it's not. It's like how we haven't had the perfect Megatron yet, and if that makes any sense. Like that Megatron looks okay, but it's not quite there yet. It's sort of like the same thing goes for this guy when we first got him, in my opinion. Like I thought he was fun. But it felt like they could have done a bit better, especially in retrospect with the 86 version. Speaking of which... Yeah, so, much bigger. Let me get the camera aerial for a second. So, yeah, 
and about as big as the like Kingdom Rodimus version. Let me just go up a little bit so that way you get it all in shot. So yeah, so he's about as big as that, and honestly, I feel like that works because he's meant to be like one of the big commander bots, one of the successors essentially to Optimus Prime, along with uh, Rodimus Prime here. And speaking of which, let me get these guys all out of the way. Speaking of which, let's bring these both of them back in. And let's take a look at how they scale next to Earthrise Optimus Prime, because this is the only Optimus Prime that I have at the moment. I'm hoping to get to the 86 version, because in my opinion, that one looks amazing. Like, don't get me wrong, Earthrise, still good. Still really, really good. It's just that the 86 one just... It has that... I don't know, to quote the song, it has the touch and it has the power. So yeah. So Well, this was specifically meant to more emulate the Earthrise cab design. This one is just going for how the G1 looked. Like, they're not completely different, but... The, the details are a bit bigger. And I think you can take this cab off if you unscrew this part here. So, and also that's one thing that this guy has over this. This guy, one solid brick besides the knee hinges being pretty loose. This guy can rotate side to side and all of his wheels are pinned on. So, it rolls really well. <laughs> So, yeah. So, hmm. Let's get on to. Let's get this guy out of the way, and then we'll get on to the transformations. We'll start with Kingdom, and then we'll go on to a Commander 86. And, oh, oh, wait. Before we do that, I should also say that the 86 version comes with a bunch of the blast effects that Omega Supreme had, and also you can take the missiles off and put like one of the blast effects in showing the rockets going off but from what I hear apparently you're not it's not a good idea to do that for an extended period of time because it can melt the plastics apparently even though I have yet to see that on any of my figures so far but yeah like these are just the Omega Supreme blast effects with like a gray paint on them to give them more regular explosion look so more blast effects that's cool not something that i'm going to use all that often but hey at least it's there so yeah we'll get these guys transformed actually before we do that there's one more feature that i forgot to show off with the commander class version that you can't do with this guy while you can stack cars on top of him you can't put them inside commander ultra magnus on the other hand you can flip down the ramp here and then slide cars in. Like you can fit at max four cars, but more so you're going to get three cars in here comfortably with one car at the bottom and two cars probably at just at the top. Like, and then again, like deluxe sized cars, I should say. Nothing bigger than that, honestly. So yeah. Then also, you can untab the arms here from either side and then ratchet them downwards to give it that look of, like, loading the cars up even though it doesn't really line up all that well. It's a nice feature regardless. So yeah. Now, let me just get this out of the way so then we can get on to transformation for this guy also for one final comparison here he is next to a previous review i did of this mold that being nova prime so so from the tips of the toes back here to the front this guy is a bit longer which again just emphasize the problems, especially like right here where you can see the hands. But yeah. 
but anyway, let's get on to transformation. Now I need to drink water. Mm. Remember, always, always stay hydrated. But yeah, first things first, take off the side missiles. Here, take off the gun. There we go. Set this off to the side. And then lift all this up and then untab everything from these clips here on the sides. Then it'll untab together. Then just pull the, the shoulder stacks out and set that off to the side because that's the armor for the Ultra Magnus mode. Camera centered. But yeah, so this is just the base cab here. It's not bad and kind of sucks that the hands are here and that, that the smokestacks are inside, <laughs> which is, I'm pretty sure, on some flat-nosed cab trucks, but I don't know. Correct me in the comments, and speaking of which, I'll have all my reviews linked in the description and in the pinned comment below. And also, when I get to the 86 version, or not the 86 version, to the 86 Autobot review, I'll link that in the comments as well when I get to it. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all those fun doodads. Let's continue. Start off with, untab the legs to, from each other, and also from the hips, or at least from the waist skirt piece here. Bring it down fold out the heels unfold the arms rotate this all around open up the entire chest flip out the head bring the entire front section of the truck forward tab the arms in and push it all back and here we have the well one of the ultra magnus modes that being the, well, essentially the white prime version. So it's not bad. I do feel like the siege version pulled it off a little bit better. Like, like for example, again, this being the Nova prime version, it looks better than the earth mode variant, if that makes any sense. Like it doesn't look like half of a truck face that got cut off. Like, it looks like a regular chest, kind of, with, like, Optimus stylings, but, like, yeah. Just weird, in my opinion. But, anyway, let's get on to articulation for this mode. There is a ball joint at the head. Very nice head design, especially for what is essentially just the Optimus Prime head sculpt. Full rotation here of the shoulder. Arms can go out that far. Full bicep rotation, 90 degrees of bend at the elbow, wrist rotation, there is a waist rotation. Legs are on a very clitchy, very clicky, very clicky ratchet, but is also uh, suffering a bit of the mold degradation. Like, I shouldn't be able to move one leg and have the other leg move at the same time, if that makes any sense. Thigh rotation, knees can go to a little bit under 90. And there, and there is a pretty, like, pathetic ankle pivot that, for some reason, wants to snap back into place. I don't know why. But yeah. So, not bad articulation for this mode. Let's do a quick size comparison. Here he is next to Optimus Prime, so about the same size, but, like, chunkier. Next hot rod, cup, RC, Rodimus Prime, and also Blur. And also uh, also Rekgar because well, he'll be important, especially in the 86 version, soon. And also, the Decepticons from the 86 movie. There's Galvatron. 
Cyclonus. And last but not least, Scourge. So yeah, not a bad size, especially for what is essentially the white Optimus Prime. But yeah, we can get these all out of the way while knocking them all over, all over like dominoes. And let's get this Magnus armored up. So yeah, start off with, flip out the heels, untab the chest, bring it forward while bringing this down, and then you flip the head back in. Collapse it all back, grab the waist piece to flip it around, and then that'll be the mag Ultra Magnus waist piece. So yeah, bring all this stuff back in. Now we just have to disassemble it all. Just works my hair, please. Just take all of it apart. Just like that. This panel will flip in. Let's remove these back here. Fold it all up. There we have the chest section. These will just go on as normal. Then just accordion all of this into here and then have it wrap around to form the legs. Same thing on the opposite side. Just like that. And then we untab these, put the respective missile on each shoulder. And we, and we don't want to cover these up just yet. At least we'll flip it up like that. Sorry for that, I had to go take care of something. But yeah, where were we? So to start off with, you attach the legs into here. You attach the shoulders, sliding them sideways. And then, not doing that, slide them like this. And make sure that this section goes over the tab here on the back. Do the same thing on the other side. Then we put these forearm armors on like that, and like that. And for the final touch, we tab this into the chest, bring all this down, making sure that this clip that you cannot see, that this clip right up here goes on essentially the spine. But yeah, like that. And here we have Kingdom Ultra Magnus. And honestly, he's not bad looking. Then again, it might be my bias over having him for a longer period of time. But I don't think he's that bad. But like, he's fine. Like he works as an Ultra Magnus standing in a display for the 86 characters, in my opinion. And speaking of which, here is Commander Rodimus. Hot Rod. RC. There we go. Yeah, that works. Optimus. Blur, cup, and also Redgar, if so we can standing correctly. But yeah, like he does not. Also, Spike slash Daniel. And also, really. But yeah. Like, in this crowd shot, I feel like he does work pretty well. He works well amongst all these bots. He's not too big. He honestly fits the size. But yeah. Like, in my opinion, it works. But then, 
also I'm gonna get all of these guys out of the way just to make this next comparison just easier compared to the last time I did it. Here is Galvatron. And these were I think they were wave mates. Well not this specific version. This is the legacy version of Galvatron. But yeah, but again, I say we need a new Cyclonus because like, that yellowing just sucks. But yeah, and then also Scourge. So again, not bad like, comparing him against other figures. But then again, this is where I feel the commander class supersedes the sky by a lot but yeah oh wait one final comparison again I keep forgetting these it's a lot in this review here he is next to my previous review that of i forgot to do that here is nova prime compared to essentially well one of his remolds so same size Again, I prefer this guy overall more than this. But yeah, so now let's do the transformation for Commander Ultra Magnus. First things first, remove the guns here. Remove the missile pods. Put those off to the side. Make sure the camera is actually in, having it in shot. And now let's begin. So, start off with, move these panels off to the side, then fold that around, do the same thing on the opposite side, untab the arms, ratchet them up and out of the way, and then for these sections here, slide them forward and flip them down, and also make sure to hinge these wheels upwards, so that way they're not on the ground. Like that like as you can see the difference here where you can see the wheels sticking out on the other side so yeah set that off to this side right there and then we fold up the entirety no wait actually one more step we flip these panels forward and then we flip all this up making sure that these white panels tab into this and this slot tabs into this And that is very long, especially for the camera. And then bring the knees out and then bring all this up, making sure it tabs into place. Bring the waist piece down. Then we can deal with the arms. Now I have to change the camera. There we go. So for the arms, split them open. Make sure you fold in this panel here, which filled in the gap in vehicle mode. Flip all this out. Flip this down. Or actually, you need to turn this around, and then you go in behind and then push this down. Make sure that this stays down because it has the tendency to go back up in when you're transforming it. Especially this cab section here. So we're going to focus on one of the arms because it's the exact same on the other side. Start off with, take this panel here, flip it around, revealing this 5mm port. And then also make sure to untab this. Bring it out. Then we can collapse all of this inwards, giving us some space to work. Ratchet all this up. Untab these sections here which hold the arm straight and then flip it all around making sure you get this panel open and then according it up revealing the fist and that is an entire arm all done so let me get this quickly transformed okay also make sure to split the legs apart now for the chest to start off with we just have to Untab the sides here of the trailer. Get that all around. Then we can untab the front. 
fold that in and making sure to feed this through to the back here while also while first collapsing the front wheels to form this back section putting that back in to solidify it and also making sure to feed the head through when you're transforming it also let's collapse that down fold the wheels in just like that and we fold all of this around collapse all this in i'm pretty sure yeah i'm right this tab goes into this slot here that's holding it all together fold these in fold this all down making sure it all tabs into place Bring the head up tab the sides into the chest and then use these locking tabs to hold the shoulders armatures into place and here we have commander class ultra magnus in his robot mode and oh my god does he look amazing i am not even kidding like like just look at like you can especially feel this in person where he has a good amount of weight especially in the center here where this guy feels fine but also very rattly especially because of mold degradation well this guy the only thing you hear rattling is the wheels and all the ratchets, which is really nice. So, yeah. So, and also size comparison between the two versions. So, he is a good head taller than this guy, but also wider. <laughs> Considering how this guy transforms and he does the all-in-one transformation instead of the armor up transformation that this version does there is going to be a bit of proportional difference comp comparing this to the show model because essentially the armatures that hold the arms up in truck mode have to go somewhere they can't just magically disappear which eh, i'm fine with honestly i feel like it is accentuated by the addition of the missile launchers like if I add the missile launchers to the sides, then it makes it feel a lot longer with them just off, if that makes any sense. It's that, I don't know, it's some sort of illusionary effect, I guess, but anyway. So let's get some quick size comparisons out of the way for this guy first before we get on to gimmicks and articulation. So to start off with, here he is compared to Optimus Prime. And honestly, I feel like that's a bit of a better size compared to the two because while in some canons they're brothers because they're essentially the same body type in the core robot mode, I feel like the armor should make him bigger, which is what it is here. So here we have RC. Here we have Cup. Blur. Spike Daniel. Wheelie, Rekgar, so we can get Rekgar in some sort of good standing position, Hot Rod, and also, let me get, let me get Optimus out of the way, Rodimus Prime. So, honestly, this looks really good together. I honestly can't wait to get Springer to help complete this display, because... It, while it looks good, it feels like it is missing something, mostly because, well, as I said, I don't have Springer. But yeah. So, let me get these guys all out of the way, and then we can do the Decepticon comparison. And also, supposedly, we are getting a Leader Class 86 Galvatron, but supposedly it's just this mold again, but repainted. Honestly, if those rumors are true, I'd be disappointed. But then again, it also has to depend on the color scheme, because I want to see that before comparing it to this. So yeah, here we have Cyclonus and Scourge. God, my brain broke for half a second there, sorry. But yeah. So... Comparatively, I feel like this works a lot better, makes them look more imposing, and it would make sense for essentially all three of them having to take this guy down, especially during the Planet of Junk, 
like stuff during the 86 movie. So, let me get these all out of the way. And speaking of which, he has a gimmick that he... Well, he has a gimmick that you can replicate from the said scene that is honestly kind of hilarious. So to start off with, fold these arms back and hold this red tab down that's right here. And then you can slide it forward and take it off. Do the same thing on the other side. And for the legs here, same red tab, just pull it off. And then do it the same way on the other side, and then you can replicate his death scene, essentially. <laughs> and then you can take Retgar to, you know, fix him up. But yeah, it is kind of dumb, but then again, it doesn't interfere with the posability, it doesn't really interfere with the transformation, thankfully. So it's just a thing that you can do it, but it would mean... You have to make a diorama scene with all the dead body parts. So, yeah. And also, I do recommend making sure that the mushroom peg hole for the legs are facing outwards instead of how it is in box like this. Because if you try to take it off with the leg here, it could get, get stuck if you're, if you're, you know, don't hold it down properly. So. I just tend to do it like this, so that way, when I am taking the legs off, which I rarely ever do, it doesn't have the chance to take it off the mushroom peg, so. That's good. Okay, let me get all of these back on. So. Come on, far with me here. There we go. And also, these are technically combiner, or at least the thighs are technically combiner-esque compatible, but I honestly wouldn't test it because I honestly wouldn't want to, you know, break it at all. But anyway, still, it is a cool feature that doesn't really interfere with anything else on the figure. And also, speaking of another feature, if you take a look chest here. See these two springs here on the sides? If I open this up, it opens up the side panels here, revealing a matrix, which is what he had briefly in the 86 movie that, again, this is pretty much the exact same mold we've had previously, though I think this is the uh, Galvatron version of it because of the hexagonal hole back here. Like, it's fine. You can, if you fold all this back down, you can get him to hold it. Kind of. That's the thing with all of these Matrixes so far being the exact same Matrix, is that you can't really make it look like he's actually holding it because... Also, you can untap these to get a butterfly joint out of the figure more so can get his fingertips through it, thus giving him the illusion he's holding it and doing the whole, damn it, open, or open, damn it, open, sort of scene that he had in the film, but like, again, it doesn't feel right. I feel like there needed to be a bigger, more two-scale matrix than a full essentially what is a <clears throat> instead of like this matrix there should have been a bigger one included as well at least in my opinion but anyway i just tend to keep this in his chest and also for some reason out of the packaging this was upside down i don't know why maybe it was just my specific copy but yeah so let's get this all back together and let's get on to the, well, let's go over other two accessories. That being one of his guns and another gun. So he can be dual wielding if he wants to. And you can also use the blast effects wherever I put them to on the ends here. So it can look like he's, I don't know, doing the MGO Belouche. 
So yeah, that is cool. But anyway, these do have storage points on him. The big one goes on the butt skirt here. Just uses the little tab bent on the side, and this one goes right here. So nice little tabage port, and also clean back. That is honestly really nice. Like, and also it replicates the back detail you had on the animation model, which is just. It's honestly really cool. It's just cool. So yeah, let's get these off and then we can go for articulation. But yeah, also articulation for this guy. Like ball joint at the head, same rotation at the shoulder. You really only get like 90 degrees out this time. Same bicep swivel, same wrist swivel, same elbow, same waist. Legs can still go forward that far back not at all because of this but you can take it off but i don't recommend it these can go barely 90 and he does have ankle pivot which is really cool but yeah it, this does lead me to believe i think a theory that the community has had about this guy and the shockwave that released during siege is that those were essentially designed during power of the primes especially during that fan vote thing near the end to be released then so like they're probably in production and all that stuff when come like earth rise and siege but and as i just carry them over because they're like eh, why not so which explains why this feels so weird especially like it just it's not bad it's good for a display i wouldn't want to mess with this guy all that often especially when i have a better version of it but yeah it also explains why the ankles are at a permanent a stance where you can't push it any far you can't make him flat-footed like it's permanent a stance well on this guy you can do that. Also, for some reason, on camera, he, he is showing off as a brighter blue. I don't know why. Like, it's a, it's like a shade darker, on, at least when looking at it in person. So, yeah, let's get on to this guy's articulation, because it is good. Ball joint at the head, also the antenna are separate in the box. It, I'm pretty sure they show you in the instructions which side each one goes. And besides, I haven't had them fall off yet, thankfully. So, full rotation at the head. Thanks to transformation, there's also a hinge joint that makes them go all the way up. So if you want some extra upwards articulation, then there you go. Yeah, so you can get that much down. He's just looking into his own chest now. At the shoulders, there is a ratchet joint that I feel like, honestly, shouldn't have been this tight of a ratchet, honestly, or this clicky. I feel like it should have been more of a soft clicky ratchet, considering how light his accessories are, and that unless you're doing, because these become the top of the, like, vehicle mode, essentially. Since they tab into the legs here, I feel like they shouldn't have been this tight. Maybe they should have just been hinges, kind of like how the shoulder is here. And also, I have seen reported copies of the shoulders being, well, very loose. So you can carefully, mind you, put some super glue in here to help tighten that joint up. Just keep an eye on it and just keep messing with it until it gets to like your preferred level of well, tightness. So just be wary. And you can technically, if you untab this, get a butterfly joint out of it, thanks to the transformation. And well, technically a multi-level butterfly joint, if you think about it. As I said, arms can do a full 360, can go out that far. There is a bicep swivel. Elbows are at a ratchet, which I feel like, which I feel, oh, God. which I feel doesn't make sense in my opinion. It's weird. I feel like this could have just been a regular hinge. Uh, there is a wrist, wrist rotation. I'm going to get a full 360 on it, but it is pretty hard to grab it, especially because of the uh, collar around it. 
And also he does have opening hands, which is really nice. So he can be a bit more expressive and has has the same like pointer finger three finger split where you get two joints at the pointer finger and the rest of them are have two points of articulation, but you're not getting the full like hand curl essentially. Waist can rotate a full 360. It is just very tight for some reason, just no ratchet, thankfully. For the waist, legs can go forward that far. It's really nice. Can go back that far and can go out that far. So the full range, which is really nice. Soft, clicky ratchet at the, at the hips for some reason. I don't know if that's a QC thing or it's just how it was intended to be. There is a thigh rotation. It's it's decent. I think it's doing the thing that I don't really like about thigh swivels, where the thigh joint is surrounded by armor. But anyway, ratcheted knee can get you to 90. Technically a little bit past 90 if you untransform it from the tab, but it doesn't change that much. And the ankles really go out that far with no forward and backwards, considering this is the back of the vehicle mode. But anyway, honestly, I like this guy more than the Kingdom version, in my opinion, where, because, like, just, just look at it. Like, it looks so much better. Like, I am not even kidding. It is just the size, it's the parts count, it's the, like, paint, like, my god, does this look good. Like, if you have, like, the chance slash the money to get this guy, I say go for him, but do not get him for, like, essentially double his price. Go for, like, the original, like, retail price or for, like, cheaper if you, I don't know, have gift cards or something. But... Considering how scout he is on the market, I am incredibly happy to find this guy at a at one of my like local like toy shops because I would have gone mad trying to hunt him down, especially on eBay. So again, as I say, this guy isn't bad. He is a good display figure. But this guy is good for both display and for play, in my opinion. So yeah. So, that has been my review for both the Kingdom and Studio Series 86 Ultra Magnuses. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll have the playlist for all my Transformers reviews in both the pinned comment and in the description. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. This is me, signing out. Peace.